everyone welcome back to explore electronics in this video let's continue our discussion with module 1 of introduction to ai and application subject here we are seeing is a artificial intelligence is same as augmented intelligence and and cognitive computing and what is machine learning and what is deep learning let's get it so the question is is artificial intelligence is same as augmented intelligence and cognitive computing let us look at the difference between them and understand what exactly they are so here augmented intelligence is a weak ai we have seen the types of ai in the previous discussion weak ai is augmented intelligence means it will enhance the existing product or services we can use weak ai to do this it will highlight the vital business information automatically it can improve the decision making process or it can support the human capabilities that is what weak ai can do that will be called as augmented intelligence then what is artificial general intelligence artificial general intelligence is strong ai compared to weak ai this we, this is much higher than that so we also call it as true ai that surpasses human intelligence as well means it will do as human does the things and also it can surpasses the human intelligence it will understand the complex tasks beyond human ability and currently this strong ai or true ai remains science fiction it is not fully implemented yet it requires quantum computing breakthroughs as well in future we will be seeing strong ai in existence then what is cognitive computing cognitive computing is a technology that mimics and augments human thoughts means it will understand the human sensitive things and it will learn by the experiences and it will give you the result means the technology that mimics and augments the human thoughts means it simulates the human sensing and learning process environmental information whatever there in the environment it will understand and process the data and it reacts intelligently to the data that is what cognitive computing is means compared to argument the augmented intelligence artificial general intelligence is stronger and cognitive computing is much stronger than that then we need to understand what is machine learning always machine learning will be tagged with artificial intelligence so let's understand what exactly is machine learning here machine learning is that machine will be learning from the patterns and its experience that will be called as ml so you can see here the definition machine learning enables computers to analyze the data this is the first point then identify the patterns this is second point and it will make decisions this is third point these three points we need to remember about machine learning it will analyze the data it will identify the pattern and then it will make the decisions without human intervention means without providing any explicit instruction to do like this machine will understand the data and identify the pattern and then making the decisions so ml algorithms will be used to learn from the experiences and automatically they will improve by analyzing the data sets continuously so you need to think like teaching uh, machines to think like just as to recognize the patterns 10 20 30 40 50 or predict outcome based on the past experiences so machine learning systems will learn to deduce results from the data it is uh, what we are given as a pattern that is about machine learning so let's understand further in a real world scenario if you take these three examples or scenarios pattern recognition is the first scenario what machine learning will do it will find let's say we need to find a missing number in the series 10 30 40 what is next easily we can say it is 50 so how we think about this as the next number is 50 means we are finding the difference between these two that is 10 again we are finding the difference between these two that is also 10 so the next value is also having a 10 difference so it is 50 this is how the pattern will be understood by the machine and identifying the difference or it will give you the result exactly as human that is what machines learn to perform similar as computations automatically that is what pattern recognition is one of the scenario then experience based learning it means like using past cricket matches to predict the bowlers next move how actually a bowler think while uh, bowling by looking at the previous matches or previous bowling strategies the machine will understand and it will give you the what bowlers can bowl in the next ball and machine learning systems will learn from the historical data 
to anticipate future outcomes. This is what a best example uh, to explain experience based learning. Then predictive analysis. Let's say we need to compute phone prices based on the specifications. So which phone will be costing how much depending on the brand and as well as the capability or the computing ability of the phone. Means we will be considering the RAM size and what kind of speakers it will be having with respect to audio and what is the OS it will be having whether it is an Android phone or iOS phone like that. So machine learning predicts the values from the given patterns. This is predictive analysis. Means here the first one is through the pattern of values what we are going to give it will learn and it will learn from the experiences by taking the history then it will predict the future by taking these things into consideration. These are the real world machine learning scenarios we can say. Then making the machine learn what are all the steps we have or the process we have for machine learning. The very first thing is take data as input which may be in the form of files or it can be in the form of spreadsheet or it can be in the form of databases that is the very first step. Then by taking them abstract the data by representing the data in a structural format means to make them understand we need to provide that in a structural format so that data will be clearly understood by the machines that is our second step. Then the third step is applying an appropriate algorithm to gain the useful insights from the data means take the data in any form in form of a file or form of a spreadsheet or data set then keep it in a structural format then use that with an algorithm proper algorithm to make it insights into the data that is what the uh, making machines learning process. So machines will learn through this structural three step approach what I have shown over here in the diagram. First it will analyze the data set by comparing the outputs or experiencing from the uh, previous uh, results and automatically refine their accuracy through repetitive learning cycles without explicit human programming that is what we need to understand. So this uh, machine learning automates everything and saves human time and effort while making increasingly better decisions as system gains more experience with diverse data that is what machine learning process is. Then how AI and machine learning relate how actually we will be understanding AI with respect to the machine learning is concerned we need to understand this diagram. Here is the difference between where actually AI sits and ML sits. You can see this is artificial intelligence outer layer inside that one part is machine learning. It means artificial intelligence is a ocean where actually machine learning is a part of that. So in artificial intelligence intelligence machine that think and act like human beings that is what AI is in that machine learning means system will learn through without being programmed to do so that is what machine learning is. So basically understand it like inside artificial intelligence a part will be a machine learning right. So uh, as we know artificial intelligence will be aimed to create intelligent machines that recognize speech vision and also it will be having a knowledge to solve the problems like humans that is what the main aim of an artificial intelligence is. So by utilizing the machine learning which will be having an ability to learn and forecast the things and progress without explicit programming. This is what we need to remember without explicit programming is the thing we need to uh, write even in the exam okay and we need to we can think in this way a is a superset okay a is a superset means it is a bigger one and ml is a subset of that ml is a part of that ai so building robots that sees talks walks and learns requires multiple ai technologies ml will handle only learning the component right this is what about ai and machine learning comparison is then the traditional programming versus machine learning how actually that will differ in the traditional programming means the general way of programming what we will be doing we will be giving the input to a program then it will give an output means manually we need to create a program by some uh, programming languages like C, Java, Python like that. So programmers write rules and the logic what requires to perform some operation then the output will be depending on the algorithm what we have written here right. So human will be making the decision that this kind of output I should get for this set of inputs. But in machine learning what happens we will be having an input and we will be expecting the output should be like this and it will generate its own program inside means automatically 
formulates the rules from the data inputs and the previous outputs and it creates predictive models without explicit programming so predictive models in the sense inside our machine it will learn by the system and it will create predictable models predictive models will be generated inside so that provides embedded analytics natural language interfaces and automated insights that reduce decision bias this is what machine learning and the traditional programming differences right why because we have taken output here means it will learn from the previous outputs right so if you take an example predicting customer churn using demographics and transaction history as input with historical churn rates as output means it will take the customers demographics and transaction history as an input with historical churn rates as an output the algorithm will build predictive models automatically this is one of the example where the consumer or the customer how he will be uh, doing the transaction with respect to the products or consumer then the next thing is building machine learning solutions so here also the very first thing is identify them business identifying the business question means what is the kind of problem you are facing and what the solution you are supposed to give for that that is what the prediction is and identify historical input gather the relevant data that will try in your model that kind of input you are supposed to give then identify observed output so document when conditions are true and when they are false you need to give that whether it is true or false then the system will take which is true and build its own system so you can see the inputs are demographics plus transactions output is churned or not and program is churn model so this is how we can build a machine learning then comes deep learning so we have understood machine learning uh, introduction now let's understand what is deep learning taking ml further so deep learning in the sense whatever the machine learning concept is you need to go in deeper with respect to that that will be called as deep learning so if you see the relationship between the artificial intelligence machine learning and the deep learning this diagram give you the clear cut idea here we have ai the outer layer or the super set is ai inside that we have ml inside that we have deep learning so with these two we will be having natural language processing that is nlp you can see this is the figure we are indicating relationship between the ai ml dl and nlp right so here artificial intelligence is a set of algorithms and intelligence to try to mimic the human intelligence this machine learning is one of them and deep learning is one of those machine learning techniques we can say so how deep learning works then deep learning uses biologically inspired neural networks how the human brain thinks with neurons with multiple hidden layers to process the data so we will be having different layers of processing in deep learning so that as the name says how neurons will be thinking deeply in a human brain that is the way we will be having different layers and this architecture allows machines to go through deep in their learning and making the sophisticated connections between them and they will be giving optimal results that is what deep learning is that is step ahead compared to the machine learning that's why it is a part of machine learning like this so we need to understand the key features of these modern ai systems one is autonomous decision making means learning from the input data and it will be automatically taking the decisions and then continuous learning continuously evolves identifying the patterns in the data and accuracy will be improved data driven data driven success means from the data data, data sets it will process that uh, data through algorithms and that will give us the result in a accurate manner then prediction and adaptation this understands the data patterns to make intelligent decisions and accurate predictions about future outcomes then reactive intelligence is perceiving the problems in real time and acts on perception to address situations dynamically then expanding applications continuously growing the scope across the industries from business analytics to the autonomous systems shaping our future world so these are some of the key features of modern ai systems so in the next video let us understand the next concept that is chapter 2 of artificial intelligence that is machine intelligence thank you